What's up, everybody? Doc Dog One Eight Five. There's levels to this. Yo, let, let's have this conversation. It's gonna be uncomfortable, but I don't care. What is the identity of the Xbox Series X? Listen to what I'm saying. What is the identity of the Xbox Series X? The actual box, the actual console. I just made a video talking about the Xbox Series S. And I realized right after I uploaded it that the Xbox Series S has a clear identity, a clear target audience, and a clear purpose. You can go ahead and play next-gen games on console at the lowest price, lowest entry point. Here it is. It is a minimalistic type of system as well. Don't worry about disc. You can go ahead and buy everything digitally or even better yet. Go ahead and get Game Pass. Here you go. It's a perfect Game Pass machine, streaming machine. In the future, if the system for whatever reason becomes obsolete, don't worry about it. You got Game Pass Ultimate. You could go ahead and stream from the damn box and you'll be perfectly fine as well. The Xbox Series S has a clear identity. It is a budget way to game. What is the Xbox Series X? Now I'm going to tell you what I, what I identified it as. But I'm not quite sure it fits that mold completely. The Xbox Series X to me represented the most powerful console you can purchase. Now on paper, just from what I know, I really don't know if teraflops even matter. But I know when a number is higher than another number, typically it's better. That's typically, okay? Not all the time, but typically. More teraflops on this console than this console. Hmm, maybe this one is better. But I know it was promoted as a very powerful console. I know that's it. I know it, I I know for a fact that it was promoted as a very powerful console. So the powered identity is the way I identify the Xbox Series X. And here's the deal: when it comes to older titles, titles that have FPS boost automatic 4k and hdr then yes it is a no-brainer there's no better if you're gonna mainly play old titles there's nothing better for you to get than xbox series x console wise the pc stay out of it console wise there's nothing better okay the amount of games i'm telling you i've i've, I've thrown at my xbox series x that are older games that are all automatically upscaled to 4K, HDR, FPS boosted. Even if they don't have that, they have uncapped frames. If you have a VRR, oh my, it's, just, it's amazing. It's amazing. So from that power perspective, yes, hands down. But when it comes to the power perspective of these next-gen games that are coming out, or this current-gen game technically that are coming out, the power gap is for me just too minimal to fully say it is the the identity of the xbox series x is that it's a power console so then what is it is it just another game pass machine is it just a better game pass machine and if that's the identity that you have for it that's perfectly fine i really want to know your answer like i'm I, like i'm being serious i want to know your answer what do you identify the xbox series x the console as the ecosystem there's no question about it the xbox ecosystem is the best ecosystem alive you can in gaming you can't even it doesn't even compare to anything else it doesn't even compare the fact that tomorrow morning I could wake up and say I want to buy a $1,600 PC and I already have a plethora of games that I could run and play on it is ridiculous because I'm part of the Xbox ecosystem is ridiculous. The fact that I could turn off my phone camera right now and decide to, 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 to play on the cloud and, and I have a plethora of games that I could play on the cloud just like that because I'm part of the Xbox ecosystem is just ridiculous. The fact that I have literally cash, literally cash, just waiting for me to redeem because of the reward points that I have because I play video games because I already like playing video games is utterly ridiculous okay the fact that i could go to uh a game gamestop right now and buy a used controller for the xbox one and it still runs great on the xbox series x and s even the updates to controllers it's it, again utterly ridiculous the ecosystem there's no question the identity is clear game everywhere what about 
the box. What about the box? This is what I want. I want the way that I identify the Xbox Series X to come true. Without a shadow of a doubt, no questions asked, the most the most powerful console on the market. Via not just what's on paper, via actual gaming results. Not just being able to see what Digital Foundry is telling me, but clearly, clearly the best way to play all these games. Xbox Series X. That's what I would like. How do you identify the Xbox Series X? I know it's a tough question. Curious to hear your answer. Doc Dog 185, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.